You got water off the stern. Taking water in the stern. Hello, my name is Tom Abhel, author of the award-winning book, Five Months on the Missouri River, Paddling a Dugout Canoe. And I'd like to introduce you to my canoe, which I named Belladonna Beaver, usually shortened to Bella. I had the unique opportunity to carve this beautiful canoe, working in partnership with Churchill Clark, the great-great-great-great-grandson of Captain William Clark of the Lewis and Clark Expedition. We took a whole spring and summer to uh, carve this gigantic 10,000 pound Douglas fir log into the canoe. Credit for the beaver face goes to Churchill, who saw a knot in the log as the eye of the beaver and carved the face accordingly. After uh, completing the canoe, I enlisted friends and former students to join me on a five month Missouri River Corps of Rediscovery to paddle the entire length of the Missouri River from its origin near Three Forks, Montana to its terminus at the Mississippi River near St. Louis. Five months on the Missouri River tells the story of crafting the canoe and this once in a lifetime dream come true to paddle America's greatest river and explore it much as Lewis and Clark did 200 years ago. Each chapter begins with a quote from the famed explorers followed by then and now comparisons between their experiences and ours. Our journey was admittedly much easier than it was for Lewis and Clark since they traveled upstream and we paddled downstream. But we did experience our share of challenges such as dealing with 15 dams that have been constructed on the river. At the first dam, the boat ramp was blocked uh, turning our beautiful belladonna into a heavy beast that we had to extract from the water, drag across the grass, and jack it up to get it on the boat trailer. The dams pool water into reservoirs, creating 700 miles of flat water, the equivalent of paddling from Seattle to San Francisco on a lake, except that, like the ocean, the lakes are seldom flat. Battling wind and waves across the reservoirs was by far the greatest challenge of the expedition. But just when it seemed like it couldn't get any worse, we'd be blessed with calming waters and smooth sailing. With practice, we even perfected the skill of loading and unloading the trailer to portage the dams.
throughout the journey, the goal of reaching St. Louis was secondary to the broader goal of discovering everything in between. As was true for Lewis and Clark, the river served as a conduit to explore the geographical landscape and geology, practice wilderness skills, and forage for wild foods along the way. Every campsite offered a new opportunity to hike, observe wildlife, meet people, and discover the history and natural history of the Missouri River. We were privileged to paddle through some of the most scenic and remote landscapes of the lower 48 states, in one stretch taking a month to paddle from one town to the next. Not long after that, uh, the guys picked up a two-month-old stray puppy, uh, which became the youngest member of our crew. Jubilee grew up on the canoes as we paddled through St. Louis. Five months on the Missouri River is as close as you can get to experiencing America's longest river without yet having paddled it yourself. The book includes 36 chapters and more than 700 photos chronicling the expedition and the river from one end to the other. Turning to the chapter Forts and Villages, we find ourselves in the middle of North Dakota, and if you look at the top of the page, you'll see that it is labeled with our location in North Dakota the date, August 17th, and that we paddled from Garrison Dam to Knife River Indian Village's National Historic Site. Here we toured the earth lodges and saw the traditional gardens with the corn, beans, and squash that the Mandan Indians grew and stored in their caches by the thousands of bushels. Turning the page again, we find ourselves downstream at Cross Ranch State Park where we camped, explored area trails, foraged for wild grapes, and enjoyed the beautiful scenery. Paddling the Missouri River is a lot like exploring a 2,000 mile long national park. Whether you are an avid paddler with dreams of paddling the Missouri yourself, or an armchair adventurer, I invite you to join us for the adventure of a lifetime. We faced all kinds of weather and traveled through one of the highest water years on record, sometimes finding it challenging even to find dry ground to stand on. But never once did the scenery disappoint us as we paddled with the changing seasons from June until November. This project has consumed nearly two years of my life between carving the canoe, gathering a crew, and preparing for the expedition, then paddling the river, and subsequently writing the book. I am so proud that Five Months on the Missouri River won the Indie Excellence Award for Best Travel Book. It really turned out gorgeous, better than I ever imagined it. That's the thing, as a writer and publisher, I put hundreds and hundreds of hours into a project like this, and I never really know what I'm going to have until I see it in print and I'm holding it in hand. Screen colors are different from print colors, so I'm holding my breath until I get it back from the printer, and I have to say, I think this is the most beautiful book that I've ever published. The colors are vibrant, the pictures just pop off the page, and when I flip through the book and look at the text, I just want to read it all over again. To pick up your copy of Five Months on the Missouri River, as well as my other books on wilderness survival, nature, and sustainable living, please go to our website at www.hopspress.com and be sure to check out our package deals that are not found anywhere else.